arrested here. We had no idea why. They said uh, demonstrating in a federal building, so it wasn't even interrupting. It wasn't even interrupting uh, the hearing then. So I don't know what it was. Um, it's a Trump charge. Trump took charge. The guy set up the perimeter. The guy set up the perimeter. Pushed those ladies back. All right. You guys back on the floor. This is absolutely ridiculous. They are you guys, you guys can wait down over here. Okay. Thank you. We were asking if the police would. No, but John, leave it. The hearing is over, I know. I've been to Gaza six times. I've been to the Anwar schools. I've been to the distribution center. And I go openly as a Jew. He just told me, I'm because it's over. The hearing's over. So, you know, it's, it's, it's absurdity upon absurdity upon absurdity. I can't stop. We walk out of the hearing. I don't speak until the hearing is over. I know. And I got held for speaking after the hearing is over. Yes, I mean. Look at, look at the number of police here. And I have been to Gaza seven times. I've been to UNRWA schools. I've been to UNRWA distribution centers. What they're saying that there are lies upon lies upon lies. They didn't have one witness in favor of UNRWA. Everybody against UNRWA. So, Julia, why are you sitting here surrounded by police? I'm sitting here because there was a hearing about UNRWA and one of the witnesses, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. He was talking about um, the UNRWA textbooks, you know, raising young terrorists, just dehumanizing Palestinians, skewing, skewing lies about the organization that have been widely disproven. So I said a few words, the police asked me to leave, I left, but then, you know, I'm not supposed to speak in the hearing, so now I have to sit here until somebody decides if they want to arrest us or not. So they just arrested uh, Julia and Mary Beth saying almost nothing in the hearing on their way out and now they are holding three of us who didn't interrupt the hearing at all uh, and they have police surrounding us as if we are some kind of uh, terrorist and we don't know why we're being held now but all we know is this place is definitely not uh, working in favor of people who want to help starving children.